In this video, we're going to go over how to configure restricted groups in group policies. Now, restricted groups is a great feature built into group policies that allows us to identify which groups are in which computers for pretty much our entire domain environment. So it's extremely handy to have to be able to specify security permissions for your entire organization. So let's go ahead and look into that. So here I have a very small test environment. Uh, this is a domain controller right here. And if we open up Active Directory Users and Computers, we will see I've gone ahead and I've created, well, one test user. Additionally, as far as computers, well, there's only the one additional computer here. So we'll go over it. And if we, we are currently logged in as the test user, if I open up command prompt and I do a net uh, group, administrators, then it will tell me, should tell me who all's in there. Let's try it, just computer management. Uh, if I look under the uh, groups for administrators, uh, we'll see that the domain admins are on this machine. I want to change this. I want to use uh, the restricted groups features of group policies to be able to add to this, not only the domain admins, but I want to add my test user account as well. So let's go ahead and look into that. So back onto my domain controller, I'm going to go ahead and open up my group policy editor. And I want this to apply to all the machines. So I'm gonna create a new policy right here, right at the domain. I'm, so I'm gonna right click, create a new group GPO, link it here. Okay. I'm gonna name this uh, restricted groups. Just so it's very clear as far as what it's doing and then it's very discreet uh, with its configuration options. And I know that that's the only thing that's going to be in there. So let's go ahead and edit the restricted group options. And the restricted groups are under the computer configuration. It's under uh, let's see, policies, windows settings, security settings, and then right there, restricted groups. By default, it's empty. Uh, so I can go ahead and right click and say add group. Now the group that I want to manage here is going to be the administrators group on every computer. I could go ahead and, and click browse and help see if I can possibly find some. I'm just going to go ahead and type in administrators. All right, members of this group. Who should be a member of the administrators group? Well, there was the domain admins. We definitely want that. Let's see, was that actually how you spell that? Domain admins, yes. There was the domain admins group, and we could of course click browse in order to confirm. Great. And then there's also my test user one that I want to include in there, which I'll actually I'll browse just to make sure I don't typo it. So now I've got two different people that I want to make sure is on the administrator group for every single computer in my domain. I could add additional users in here if I wanted, for instance, the local administrator of the computer. I could also specify that this group is a member of, so that if this was maybe a, a different group, a, a uh, local users group, then that could be a member of the administrator group or something along those lines. But I'll go ahead and say OK and close that out. And now it is set. At this point, if I come on over here to my workstation and let's go ahead and open up a command prompt, I'll run this as an administrator just to be sure and do a GP update slash force in order to download the latest group policies. And what this should be doing is downloading the latest group policies, including that policy that I just created to specify the local administrators group. And now when I come in here and I look at the administrators group, I will see my test user one has been added in there. So there we go, restricted groups. It's a great way to be able to start configuring and maintaining these groups uh, across my entire domain 
not only does this set those user accounts in those groups, but it also removes any accounts that you don't necessarily specify in there either. So if say on a local machine here and admit somebody came in and put a new user in the administrators group, the group policy would actually remove them as well as add back in the correct groups.